Meet Stretch, the newest addition to the Boston Dynamics family. And the robot that could start raising the eyebrows on millions of warehouse workers around the world. It's always exciting to tell you about a new robot from Boston Dynamics. That's of course the company that brought us the Spot Robot, inspired a Black Mirror episode, and introduced the world to robot parkour. The company's latest creation is neither a quadruped or a gifted athlete. Its world is boxes and warehouses. So today, I want to talk to you about Stretch, what it can do, how it was built, and why it could be that industrial robot that companies have been waiting for. Boston Dynamics introduced Stretch to the world with a cameo appearance by the company's most recognizable robot. Boston Dynamics calls Stretch its first commercial robot specifically designed for warehouse facilities and distribution centers. A typical day in the life of Stretch uh, is going to be, you know, maybe spending the morning on the inbound side of a warehouse unloading boxes from trucks. It could spend the afternoon in the aisles of the warehouse building up pallets that'll go out to, to you know, retailers or e-commerce centers. Uh, and it could spend the evenings loading boxes back into trucks. That's Kevin Blankespoor. He's lead engineer on the Stretch project at Boston Dynamics. I had a chance to talk with him about how his box moving, pallet stacking robot works. So first, let's talk components. There are three main components to talk about here. There's the arm, the base, and the perception mast. Let's start with the arm. It needs to be able to lift 50 pounds. That's the heaviest box or pallet that you're gonna find in warehouses around the country. It needs to be a high speed, high reach, strong arm. Now you can buy industrial robot arms like that, but they're heavy. So we knew that to actually, you know, package this into a mobile robot, we needed something a lot more lightweight. So we designed the, the arm ourselves. Kevin says Stretch's arm is about a quarter of the weight of an equivalent industrial arm. That allowed them to design a relatively small mobile base. It's basically the size of a pallet, meaning Stretch can really go anywhere that a pallet can. The base moves on four multi-directional wheels, all controlled independently. If you think about the most common wheeled vehicle out there, which is probably your car, uh, it can move you know, forward and backwards, it can turn a little bit, but uh, it's a little bit limited compared to what Stretch can do. Stretch, because it controls all the wheels independently, can move forward and backwards, it can move side to side, it can rotate in place. Connected to the other end of the arm is that gripper. This is actually a bunch of suction cups connected to a vacuum. Now that's not necessarily new tech these days, but Kevin says they are working on a new smart gripper that's packed with sensors. No one's any done, done something like this before. Gripping a flat box, it's perfect when the gripper's exact right size, that's not too hard, right? Um, but when you get into like a, a big range of boxes from very small to very big, or boxes that have holes in the top, even by design sometimes, or boxes that maybe, maybe they're not boxes, maybe they're trays of drinks that have shrink wrap around them, right? So the top's really irregular. That's, that's kind of the new frontier for suction grasping. Finally, you've got the perception mast. It's that pole sticking up next to the arm. That's packed with things like depth sensors and 2D cameras. This is how Stretch identify boxes of different sizes and shapes. We also use those cameras for all the other things that really um, you know, allow you to be autonomous. So they detect obstacles, we're able to localize or, you know, Stretch can determine where it is in a warehouse and it can, can do all of the perception tasks it needs to so that Stretch can autonomously navigate through a warehouse. If this sounds familiar, it may be because Stretch's vision system is largely based on those other robots from Boston Dynamics, Spot and Atlas. And that's not all these robots have in common. It's one of the reasons we were able to build Stretch pretty quickly is because we, we you know, we borrowed from a lot of existing robots. But if you look at, the, the, at Stretch's wrist, it's the same electric motor, the same gearbox, the same sensors, and even the same, you know, software for controlling it as Spot's hip. Um, and so we're able to take building blocks from, from all of our other robots uh, and quickly build up prototypes like Stretch. In fact, Stretch is really a direct descendant in a lot of ways from the Atlas robot. It started back in 2016 when Boston Dynamics released this video of Atlas lifting objects. They started getting interest from companies wanting to put Atlas to work in their warehouses. So we thought, well, Atlas is probably a little complex for, for warehouse work, uh, but we can we could design something that's a lot more simple, fewer joints, for example, 
um, that could work in a warehouse. It still has you know, Atlas's attributes, which is that you know, Atlas has a nice small footprint, it can fit in tight spaces, but it can still pick up heavy things. Now that led the team to develop the Handle robot, first introduced to the world a year later in 2017. After testing Handle out with a few customers, they realized they needed something a little more maneuverable. If you've ever you know, been in the back of a truck or a shipping container, it's pretty tight for a sizable robot, especially. Uh, and that was an eye opener for us. You know, Handle could unload all the boxes in the truck, but it took a while. Because it had to maneuver around so much to avoid collisions, the whole time we had been thinking, OK, there's this other robot that looks like Stretch that we had kind of had on the drawing board for years. And that's when it became clear that that robot would be a lot faster. And Stretch, in fact, can move boxes about five times faster than Handle when it's unloading a truck. So what's next for Stretch? Well, to be clear, what we're looking at here is a prototype. Kevin says they're already working on a production model that's been totally redesigned for cost reduction and higher performance. He expects to build the first units of that this summer, put them on sale next year. No word yet on a price tag. So is Stretch the most impressive robot yet from Boston Dynamics? Or are you more of a spot enthusiast? Is Atlas your favorite? Let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Andy Altman. I'll see you in the future.